So, someone wanted me to record a, a frontline battle with the P-47s. So, I'll show you a lineup in a second of what I used in this case. Um, in this case, my lineup is two P-47s, a P-30, no, an A-36, and a couple other planes, but uh, I only ended up using the P-47, so I, I went eight and one. Uh, but I was focused on the ground kills because I, once again, I was trying to finish a war bonds uh, task. So, uh, ended up number one on my team. Um, second between both teams only to this guy. I killed him twice. He killed me once. Um, here's the, the score or the breakdown. ninety four percent activity eye for eye final blow double strike times two so that represents four kills um, and here's the two p forty sevens there go back to the hangar we finished that one we'll go ahead and accept that um, and we'll play the replay So here I'm doing my standard thing, climbing to get altitude. I want to be at least at 4,000 feet, uh, meters, um, because the more potential energy I have, the better I, the better off I am with this plane. Um, it likes speed, uh, but we're gonna get close enough to the ground so we can ensure that we get these tank kills. So uh, we're gonna be trading altitude for energy and then booming out and then climbing again and then doing the same thing now we can catch a plane or two when we're coming in and or leaving out we'll go ahead and do that and that is the case on this first run here so the, f the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to line up those tanks there's some tanks over here behind these houses uh, but i'm also wary of being caught out by like that bf 109 that's across away from me there so I want to do this in a way that I don't run into other fighters and they end up walking me. So I'll pull up here at the last minute because I see that Blenheim that I think I might be able to take advantage of. I show up there at the last minute. You see all those sparks. He ends up getting that kill, so I pull off. And then I see the HE-111 right under me. And I decided, uh, can I catch him? I could over time, but remember, I'm trying to, I got a plane full of bombs here, and I need to try and focus on bombs. So I'm losing my altitude fast. I'm diving down, starting my first run here. Make sure these count. Okay, so those are brown kills, and now for some air kills. Someone's gonna be coming, heading on at me, head on at me, or him, and then there's another BF 109 here. And I still got right at 600 kph. 
So I'm relatively level and I'm extending out. So that was a pretty good run. I ended up getting five kills. Three ground, two air. And I'm at the top of the leaderboard at this point. So we begin our climb back up. Just checking to make sure we don't get bounced. So we're extending away, but never really getting all that far from the battlefield. We have enough altitude to where if someone comes under us, we can dive down and take the kill. So now at this point we're climbing because we want to be able to be able to have enough energy to boom and zoom again once our bombs are reloaded. And we're still paying attention to other uh, planes up here. Especially those coming out of their uh, spawn. Uh, at, at one point I was kind of deciding whether or not I should go down there and and get that help with that A-20. And then there's the Doe 217 and the A-6M2 in down there. So I stick to my guns and decided to stay high. I'm at 3,400 meters already, which is pretty good. I'm not slow at all. Then I see that guy, and I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, he looks like he's heading directly for me. Let's pull away. Then he decides to change up. And so I got enough energy to where I can convert it to altitude, knowing that he's headed in a different direction. At this point, let's check the scoreboard. This guy hasn't accumulated much yet. He's in a TBD. But he, once he gets in that P-36, I think he's going to start tearing things up. And here is where I decide, okay, well, let's go away because I'm trying to position myself to where when my bombs come, bombs come online I can go this way see though <laughs> if the camera was quit then I see the G4M1 and I'm like oh crap I was like maybe I can get this guy before my bombs come online which fails my bombs come online before I reach him but um I, by that time I'd had enough energy to where I was already catching him he's trying to turn away here but I'm already gaining on him and he's not gonna he burned energy in making that turn if he's gonna make a turn like that he should have dove and turned he would have kept some energy so now he's somewhat trying to juke me which ain't gonna work I set one engine on fire and then my goal is to set both on fire and I should have pulled off but he died anyway so this is lucky uh, I didn't get damaged I did catch something here because I do have a little bit of wing damage so now I have to worry about people coming out of their spawn and I'm, I'm close to their base So once again, I start climbing up to get more altitude for more potential energy. There's my tank lineup right there. I need to make sure that my bombs, all three of my bombs are accounted for. Meaning that for each bomb I want to kill. So I, I think I end up using two bombs before I... Uh, before I have to pull off. So I actually have to break up the run. Okay, the Nick guy, he's not in the P36 yet. 
So here we go. I'm going pretty damn fast. And it's getting hard to line up, so I pop my flaps. Extend out. So both of those kills are... No, both of those bombs got kills. I'm looping back over. I'm watching that Yonkers 87. And here we go. We're going to make another uh, bomb and run here. Drop him off. Circle around because I, I wanted to ensure that I didn't get get targeted by that JU-87, but I think he died. But then I get hit by AAA ground fire. HE-100 looked like he was trying to catch me. So I'm extending back out. I am leaking fuel. I'm still at the top of the leaderboard, but uh, there's a very close second here. I'm very slow, and I'm kind of close to the battle area. I would have, I sh should have had a better uh, state of energy, but uh, that's all right. I'm, I'm kind of in a rush. I'm trying to make sure that I achieve this uh, uh, this task. And in order to do that, I have to, I do have to take some risks. So my bombs aren't on board yet. So I'm like looking. Okay, well I can get some some air targets. So we're going to get Mile back and someone else. You can hear them behind me trying, maybe trying to get a kill as well. I ended up getting a kill and then I'll make our ground on, uh, run on ground targets. For some reason I had a hard time getting that target. Spitfire is trying to sneak up on me so I boom out. Mr. Nick is still in the F2A, and he's got five kills now. And I think I'm going to end up killing him. No, someone else killed him. He just died. So this is where he comes in with uh, P30, uh, P36s. And there he is in his P-36. Here I'm going for a couple of ground kills. Those two right there. That's a pillbox. So I got a lot of energy here. One of these guys are going to die. So he died, and then I. Uh, P36 is behind, the, behind me. Bombs come back online. I got all three. And for some reason, I had, I don't know why I couldn't get someone to clear him off of my six. There's two guys right there. I'm taking a lot of damage here. He still can't quite line it up. I've already looked at his rank and know that he's like a lower level player compared to me. 
but that plane is very agile. So, here I go. I figured I need to use the bomb. And there we go. So that's my first death. I decided to hop into the other P-47. It's got a load of bombs, but by this point, I don't think we need them because uh, the pillboxes disappear. There is one ground target there that I didn't see in game. When these disappear, that means you got to go over and finish the uh, air base, but I, I don't like going and dealing with air bases, so I decided to maybe try to uh, strafe some uh, some more ground targets. I mean some air targets. I can't quite get him. I'm not going to try and turn with him, but I will get the Nick guy. Or the, the NIGC, however the hell that's pronounced. The sky is pretty much clear. He dies before I can get there. Got a mess of people coming back. And I see my first opposing P-47. I call him out. And actually, I was going to try and go get him. He's he's probably the bigger threat. But he gets he gets killed. So I'm deciding. Okay, well, Hurricane is probably the next biggest threat, especially with a load of speed. They're focused, and then I see this guy coming up at me, and I was like, I know he's not trying to hit on me with that plane. And so, yeah, don't learn today. And I think I get one more before the round ends. Get him, and I was gonna, tr I was trying to get him, but time ran out. So yeah. Another awesome game. I'll post it up for my my uh, for a visitor to my uh, YouTube channel. I do have some other footage, but uh, this one was actually pretty good. Um, it highlighted mainly the the P47s. I mean, I got most of my kills in the first P47. The second one was playing cleanup. Uh, but it was enough to help us win the mission. And uh, it was a good way to end a battle. <laughs>